Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kyle here with another Gardening Tales video. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down this shop here on what's worth buying, what's not worth buying here in this guy right now. So before we get into this video, if you can like on this video, that'd be awesome. Also subscribe to the channel for more Gardening Tales content. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So the first thing I want to remind everyone about is the collab event coming through in February. And if you're a free to play or light spender and you want to take advantage of as many opportunities as possible during that event, I would caution you to maybe lightly spend during this and save all your gems as possible because if you miss out on that event, you have no more attempts, it's just done. So that's strictly for the very budget friendly people. For people that are willing to spend, a lot of these are no brainers, a lot of these are really good deals. So let's break this down and I actually have a guildmate that wrote all of this out and already did the evaluations and looking through it i completely agree with what he's saying so let's just actually use that as our guide here and go through this so big shout out to excellent for breaking all this down kind of visually show you what's in the shop here we got lucky pouch which is 10 uh, it's 100 gems and we have an option. So all these things you can look through and see what the options are of all this. So 20% chance of legendary awakening stones, 20% chance of stamina, 20% uh, chance of option change stone. And then this one's the worst one in my opinion, which is the option lock stone, 20%. That'd be kind of a bummer. And then 40, level 40 hammer, which is, you know, right there. And then these guys refresh every uh, day, every 24 hours. And then these ones, um, you know, every four days, this one is just, you only get one shot at this. Some of these also refresh, it looks like as well. And then this one is just, you just get one shot. So now that we kind of have an idea what this is, and then a lot of these, for example, pretty much everything has a range where you could kind of gamble and actually get a little bit better on these. So 300 gems gets you a chance there at different ranges of hero crystals. This one gets you a different range of magic metals. This one just gets you an Epic Gloom and Brilliant Hammer, which is fantastic. Uh, Legendary Awakening Stones. These actually happen in the other shop um, periodically here, and I always stand by them. If I ever see them here, and if I see 400 gems for four Legendary Awakening Stones, usually gives you multiple chances to buy it. I just buy it pretty much every time. But having it in this shop too is, you know, the more the merrier, in my opinion, when it comes to these. I really like getting these. So now with all that being said, let's actually get into this. And uh, so Lucky Pouch. Uh, mostly worth worst item being the two lock stones like I was saying uh, though still not bad and a four star hammer Legend uh, four legendary stones are usually 300 gems option stones usually 300 gems and 70 coffee somewhere around 120 to 130 gems so all the good ones 60 60 percent chance of actually it being good and then we look at the coffee machine 200 gems verdict worth your worst hit is 100 stamina valued in gems at two daily refreshes at 250 or if you want to max out your value over two days 200 gems and but that's it you lose out on the opportunity cost of having more uh, refreshes there by doubling down or tripling down on your daily refresh which a lot of people do if you're going for max value there um, it also still leaves you daily stam refill if you want furthering your account progress so if you're really trying to push progression and you're happy on your uh, and you're happy on the your character pulls then you can really go ham with this and get a lot of, like potentially get your collection bonuses significantly further or go go for more evo stones uh the weekly ones here uh, so hero crystal box 300 gems verdict that depends on you lowest drop at 20 hero crystals is a lot uh, like a thousand stamina in the evo dungeon a lot i really like this perspective on it you know you kind of have an idea of just how much 20 hero crystals is but especially when uh, you apply it to that when it comes to the evo dungeon when you turn in the your uh, two star extra evo stones uh, which is around four days of evo farming after that each tier attacks on a full day's worth of stamina which uh, which a lucky hit of 40 hero crystals being eight days or 2000 stamina to further put in perspective 200 um 2700 gems will more than often not provide you with 17 to 31 hero crystals with the off chance of getting something more from uh, your pull so that really puts into perspective just how good this 300 gem weekly offer is so depends on if you're really trying to push limit break but at the same end are also not trying to conserve gems for other pulls but if you're purely looking for the value in hero crystals i think that's actually pretty great then the weekly um the weekly one the magic metal box so uh, verdict he's saying um that's pretty spicy uh, so let's see his example here. The biggest difference between hero crystals and magic metals is that magic metal is a much more stable currency to obtain. And I have videos on this if you guys want to check this out on how you can farm this stuff. 
Um, so I'll probably leave a link up in the corner. As in 270, uh, 2,700 gems is worth 100 magic metals, more than likely much more uh, than 100, but 100 nonetheless. It is also get spicy because with coffee and gold, you can bully out as much uh, magic metal as you might want. Well, you can do the same for hero crystals. Magic metal is much more consistent. I will avoid going into a tirade over this item because of how much variance there is. Talking to a three star to a five star is around 400,000 gold. 11k stamina is worth 100 magic metal this is um this is gold dungeon only and doesn't include item drops mystery evolution let alone item dungeon selling equipment hammers as i said this shit is spicy so he's when you really do the math and you really realize how much gold dungeon farming this is this is actually fantastic value right here for only 300 gems definitely take advantage weekly uh, the three option change stones he's saying eh, i i'm completely uh, on on board with this i really don't like especially only three for 600 gems it's just there's just no good valuation for these guys because it's random anyway even if there is a good valuation you can just get boned on the rolls so it's really hard to put an objective number on this unless you're just really adamant on forcing a roll for a particular weapon i like to just passively farm these two events and you just get them for free uh, because you're going to do the events anyway and might as well get the option stones there and then we got the weekly five option lockstones, 500 gems. Verdict, um, Psy probably, um, these are, are pretty rare and locking an epic weapon costs 10 for one lock. On the cheaper end, it provides two to five locks on the other items, which is uh, quite a few. They inherently increase the value of option stones by making sure you don't lose a stat you desperately want to keep. Expensive if you have the gems or have a weapon that needs its locks may be worth it. So I think this is only worth if you're really trying to min max like your main hero or a couple heroes because you have one for the training room. But if you're looking for that next hero that you actually really want to fully invest in um, and, they're, and you've already done all your accessories, you, that's when I would actually try to do something like this uh, because the accessories are the big priority. It, but exclusive weapons, it's a big deal. There's a massive variance in the amount of stats you can get on an exclusive weapon on a few of your main heroes done yet and you already got the accessories taken care of then you would want to consider you know investing in these but that'd be about it for in my opinion and i would just passively get them if that's not the case so then the weekly uh, three princess edicts 100 gems uh depend so the verdict is depends so it really depends on how impatient you are when it comes to your merch um these bad boys are rare and only three a week totaling six saves you six days of pitting towards merchant and super costume my, my thing with this is it takes so long anyway that do you really want to spend gems to expedite a process that's going to take months so it's just kind of up to you i mean 100 i mean unless you're wailing out on merch you're never going to see them that quickly anyway so you might as well just slow farm it in my opinion you're, you're not get, you're not even going to notice the amount of speed you you increased it by even even if it is only 100 gems and then the daily one we got three awakening dungeon box for 75 gems the verdict from a complete gym comparison standpoint totally depends on how it works maybe not but by the by that way if this box is of random type the value of this goes down which i'm assuming is random if you're looking for one type of stone and don't get them that's pretty um, pretty bad. However, considering a recharge in the dungeon itself is 300 and this is 225, it is pretty decent savings. But as I said, being a less targeted method of um, stone sniping isn't actually probably worth the uh, 75 gym savings. And I think that's a fair point. But at the same time, when it comes to awakening stones, I think the more you can get, the earlier in the game you are. If you're an early game player, these things are so hard to come by and they're so frustrating waiting for the next unlock because it's such a big deal for you um the less characters you have eventually you get to the point where you're in camazone and stuff like that that getting these things is still rare but it's not this massive bottleneck like it is in the beginning in the game so i would just prioritize this more if you're early if not just don't even bother um so then we got the weekly 2x level 54 a uh, four-star strengthening hammer, 200 gems. He's saying no. Well, I haven't done the actual uh, item XP uh, given the same cost via dungeon hammer gathering. There are so many different ways to get hammers plus other necessary things, gold, XP, and actual items that throwing gems at these is likely a waste. I, I think that's a fair point, even though it would be such a pain to actually calculate all that out. I'm just going to go with that. I don't think it's worth it either. 
Then the daily 800,000 gold, 300 gems, verdict worth it to a majority. I have a feeling people will disagree with me on this, but hear me out. Assuming no mail, assuming no mailbox refill, and you refill your stam using gems twice a day, there's an entire day's worth of stamina around 250 used in only the gold dungeon. Granted, it's actually a lower value in stam, as you are also get lower quality items as well, but not that much lower value from a strict stam refill standpoint, the 250 gems for 100 stam nets you half of the gold in item dungeon. Basically, if you haven't completed your collections, you should probably just buy this and not refill stamina or refill stamina and use it somewhere other than the gold dungeon. So I think that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. And um, it essentially is adding for the duration of this event more ways to be able to use um, your gems to further your progression because all of this would be limited by your daily refreshes but you're, you can't just keep spamming those because the cost gets too high whereas this is just giving you another way of doing that to where you could just take this 300 it's all gold and then you could be doubling down on gold by still farming the gold dungeon or you could be farming evo stones just totally up to you it's just prioritizing um progression over pulse again big thank you to Merc for creating this worth it guide definitely saves a lot of time in trying to figure this stuff out i think this will be helpful for a lot of people when it comes to this because i think this is great i really like these style events there hasn't been anything like this in this game this is the first time they've done this usually they like to repeat events so now that we have this in the game we should probably be seeing this in the relative near future so kind of exciting so i'm going to end the video here guys and with that guys i'm out peace